All right, everyone, the billionaire's fascist coup continues. Google Play Store now attacking Minds.com and putting them through the ringer, asking them to do the impossible, which is completely reformat everything that they're doing and sanitize everything. It's interesting. The weakest point of the Internet, arguably, is, is the fact that Google and Apple control all of the app movement. Essentially, you know, something like 98 or 97 percent of all app traffic is two companies. When those two companies begin explicitly attacking uh, groups that they are platforming and hosting their apps, which explicitly compete with them, I would think that that's ripe for antitrust. But you see, Minds.com doesn't have a senator that they've bought off. This is the problem. By the way, I thought it was funny. Jared Holt the other day complaining, whining about Jimmy Dore there. Uh, he went on Tucker Carlson's show to talk about the dangers of tech censorship. Now keep in mind, he's in the tech world. He's also one of the few leftists who shows any signs, any semblance of sanity. Jared Holt is insinuating that there's something wrong with that kind of leftist. Oh my god, a leftist who believes in free expression, including for people that leftists happen to disagree with. What a novel idea. It's almost like he's classically liberal in the sense of fucking understanding how civilization works. Now, the real problem in the left is that all of you uh, morons have sold out uh, and you support big government. Now, you support fascism, ironically. You think that tech billionaires should be in control of what you see and hear because it makes you feel comfy like the bootlicking lemmings that you are. Uh, so, yeah, respect for Jimmy Dore and disrespect for the septics the breadliners, the cringe fringe like Jared, and all of these other fucking morons out there who have completely abandoned the concept of Western civilization and want to live in a dystopian freak show. Anyway, uh, there's a link in the description, and I'll pin it too, uh, to my Minds page. And I think if you join from my page, I think it's a de facto referral, because I get like tokens and shit from that. I'm not sure. They used to have a thing where you could get a referral link and put it out, but I'm, I'm not sure actually where to navigate to find it at this point. I checked all over the whole site, but yeah, they're going to have to, st uh, in order to stay on Google's Play Store, they have to nerf their own app, uh, so there won't be comments or search or anything. It'll just sort of exist. It'll be, you'll have an account, but you won't be able to do anything. Uh, so you should definitely, I guess, use you know, the desktop version because there's no alternative. And this is uh, because so many people use smartphones, at least in part for their day's uh, exploration of content, uh, that's really where the targeting is going on mainly. What we see, by the way, is that these big tech firms are using the capital riot especially, but social alienation in general, as an opportunity to make more money by cracking down on their rivals in a way that is explicitly illegal under existing antitrust laws. They're using the capital riot as an excuse. Now, we know this. Just like they've used mass shootings and riots and so forth as excuses before. Why do we know it's an excuse? The rioters were live streaming on Instagram and on Facebook and on places like that and on YouTube. They weren't, they weren't streaming on Minds. They weren't talking about what they were doing on Gab. They were talking about it openly on Twitter. These things are organized on the surface web, so the big tech firms will ignore that. Like, you've had fucking suicides and shit on Facebook, too. Nobody ever declares that there's a problem. Now, the problem is some underground site, so-called, that has the same fucking content, similar TOS in some cases. Mines is not an edgy site. If you go throughout it, Please, please show me examples of terroristic content or incitement to violence on Minds.com. Find some. Show it to me. And I can show you plenty from Twitter. I've had people make terroristic threats to me explicitly before. I've had hundreds of people threaten my life on Twitter. Is anything done about it? No, fuck that. There's a reason I don't use that fucking site anyway. It's full of morons at this point. All the interesting people are leaving or getting purged. Now, it happens that mainline tech is where all the, the shit is. It's just that there's a lot of boring MSM content there to sort of you know, dilute it. You've got, you've got more calls to violence by far, certainly on Facebook groups, than you do on all of alt tech combined. But it's, it, ex it escapes notice because there's also uh, the mom's cooking page and, you know, dudes who like sewing and the pink hair club and stupid shit like that that's, you know, fairly innocuous. So it's not noticed as much. And also, again, the billionaire fascists have bought off most of Congress. How many Congress people do you think that, uh, that Bill Ottman uh, has, has, uh, has curry with? <laughs> how, how many? <laughs> when, when, when Kaufman goes to D.C., uh, how many of the Congress people recognize him and want to shake his hands and get an autograph? If, if Ray Vahey says, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to go back to the UK, I'm going to talk to my parliament. <laughs> I'm going to try to talk to the House of Lords about the problem of tech censorship by U.S. Uh, billionaires. 
Yeah, that will go over really well, of course. Yeah, they petitioned the Thai government. You'd probably get you'd probably get an audience with the the royals in Thailand long before you'd get an audience with the House of Lords or something in the UK. Now try to go into DC right now. You have security fencing up everywhere anyway. You probably can't even get there. But it's fucking stupid, uh, and it's illegal. There's no other way to put it. Mines has full uh, uh, video hosting abilities, and yet uh, and search and so forth. It's got similar functionality to many Google products, and yet Google is explicitly precluding it. And again, the differential enforcement is the is one of the main problems. You have they are perfectly fine hosting Facebook Messenger, despite the fact that people uh, uh, send uh, illicit porn and make death threats and shit on Facebook Messenger. Well, hold them to the same account. Tell them Facebook Messenger needs to do more to be, you know, that would actually trigger antitrust. Zuckerberg would be very, very angry if Apple and Google teamed up against him. And if he steps out of line, by the way, they would. I want Elon Musk to make good on his promise to buy Twitter and then delete it. That's what I want to see happen. Why don't the other billionaires team up and fucking buy these sites and then just fucking destroy them? Because they're not useful anymore. I mean, if you have an app store and you're not willing to actually host apps that people want to use, what's the fucking point of it? But TikTok is okay. Keep that in mind. TikTok, which is literally a Chinese spying app built by the fucking Chinese gov communist government, is perfectly acceptable. It's hosted. It's not banned. The U.S. government briefly talked about it, and then Trump, when he mentioned it, which I didn't even fully support based on my principles, uh, got called authoritarian. He's a tyrant. Oh my god, he wants to ban this site where, you know, 12-year-olds are twerking. Oh my god. Oh, what will we do? But oh shit. Somebody posted a political opinion we don't like on Minds.com. Quick Google, you've got to do something about him. And is Apple doing it? Probably. So yeah, that's about all. Peace out.